Hi lovelies, I'm Arielle and this is Maven Unmasked and welcome to your weekly reading for November 7th through November 13th of 2016. Sorry this is coming a little late to you. I have been sick for a little while and um, was attending a workshop over the weekend and was pushing myself to get better and I was good for the event and we had on Sunday and now it's like ugh. I am feeling it <laughs> again today, so, um, but I really need to get this out to you guys. I hope everyone had a great week last week. Um, I will say that I did get my psychic mediumship certification, yay, so um, I will start to offer mediumship readings. Those will be up um, on my Etsy shop sometime later this week, so be sure to stay tuned for those. Um, but let's go ahead and get started with our weekly reading. This week I will be using the lovely Fountain Tarot. I will also be using the Crystal Reading Cards. That's where we will get our Oracle card from this week. So right now, I'm asking for everyone's angels, their ancestors, their guides, their loved ones in spirit to be here with me and with you. To give us a message for our best and highest good this week. I have two. Let's just get one more. Thank you. Okay. Alrighty, so we have three cards this week. First, we have the Three of Swords, but the Three of Swords is reversed. Yay! Um, typically, in its upright position, the Three of Swords um, can be about tragedy, it can be about loss, it can be um, about heartbreak, betrayal, um, feeling just stabbed in the heart, truly. Um, loss, tragic loss. Um, but it's saying this week that our focus needs to be on what we have and not what we feel like we're lacking. Um, it also feels like in its reverse position that these swords will be able to find a way out. So we're really focusing on healing and healing the heart this week. Um, and I feel like about not being heartbroken over the way some things may work out this week. And I say that because in conjunction with the Three of Swords reversed, we also have the Eight of Wands reversed. So the Eight of Wands is about quick forward movement, things coming, coming, coming at us really, really fast. I feel like it's saying this week um, that if you're waiting to hear some news or working on something, don't be heartbroken if things aren't, you know, manifesting or coming forth super, 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 super quickly. Um, I also feel like this is a message to not be disappointed if your heart healing, whatever healing it is you're working on, healing that loss um, or the way you think about that loss, don't be just upset or discouraged if it takes a little bit longer than you originally thought it would. Um, you know, Rome wasn't built in a day. Healing takes time. Peeling back those layers takes time. Really getting to the root core of the issue takes time. When you get to what you think is the root core, if you dig a little deeper, it may not just be that. There's multiple, multiple, multiple layers to this, multiple layers to healing as well. Um, like your skin, your skin has seven layers. So healing all of those different layers of things. The next card we have is the Nine of Wands this week. So it feels like um, even though things may not be coming as fast as we want, it's about not giving up, about still pushing forward, um, forward movement, still being on the offensive. Um, I also feel like this is a message to be um, aware of our energetic protection this week. Um, and keeping ourselves safe, shielded, grounded, um, and that we're interacting with the energies that we want to interact with. It very much feels like, yes, we need to know that healing may be an uphill battle at points, but we need to keep pushing onward and moving forward. 
It's part of the journey. But in order for this healing to take place, sometimes we need to tear down the walls, let the guard down, to not be afraid to, um, to dig a little deeper, to climb a little higher, if that makes sense. So let's go ahead and get a message from the crystal reading cards to kind of tie this all up, to tie this all together this week. A message for our best and highest good about the healing we'll be working on, about our energetic protection, about the way things are moving, the speed at which they're moving, the, the journey, the challenges. That is so funny. I love it. Malachite healing. <laughs> So love when this happens. So appropriate. Malachite is one of my favorite stones and it is definitely associated with the zodiac sign of Scorpio and we are in the season of Scorpio. So um, especially to any of you fellow Scorpions out there, try working with Malachite in the healing process this week to release the emotional baggage so that the heart can begin to heal. So how appropriate, Malachite healing and the Three of Swords, right? Um, again, Malachite is one of my favorites. It's so, it's so earthy, but at the same time, it's very flowy and very watery. Um, it has so much of the forest in it without being too, too earthy. It's, um... It's a calming stone. It's very different from other heart chakra stones that I feel like I've worked with. It's different from rose quartz and it's different from, um, you know, green aventurine and jade and, uh, you know, petrosite and things like that. Uh, excuse me, prenite and things like that. It's, it's very... It kind of reminds me if any of you have worked with dioptase before. It's very gentle and very, um, the, the waves of its energy. It's just so different from any other stone I've experienced. Um, I definitely like working with it more than emeralds when it comes for heart chakra healing. Um, Malachi goes to those deeper emotional levels that need healing and need repair and need work. Um, the way its vibration works within your energy is just phenomenal. And I definitely encourage you, if you have some, to work with it this week as you're trying to not only energetically protect yourself, but let your walls down as well. Trying to balance those two things. Now, um... I wanted to draw one more card this week from the Archangel Raphael Healing Oracle by Doreen Virtue. Um, everybody and their brother and their mother and their cousin and their uncle and their best friend and their dog who lives down the street has been like posting, I'm sick or so-and-so sick or my kid is sick or, um, you know, whatever is going on. So I just wanted to draw cards for all of us who are kind of going through this this sick, you know, energy. Um, I know, of course, you know, the season is changing and flu season and blah, blah, blah. But to me, it definitely feels like more than that. It feels like some kind of energetic shift is happening right now. And I just wanted to get a message from Archangel Raphael for any of us who may be um, struggling with illness right now or somebody who we know and love if they are ill um what advice does he have or what the shift is about what is going on and it's probably definitely actually has to do with whatever this healing and releasing is with this malachite so one fell out but i just wanted to see if there was anything else he had for us archangel wrath here we go okay so we have a couple. We have four. So the first one we have is avoid allergens. Dear Archangel Raphael, please assist me in identifying and avoiding allergens that may be toxic to my health and happiness. Help me to only crave healthful foods and beverages. So some of us may um, be experiencing some food allergies, maybe from eating dairy or um, having too much acid in our diets or um, 
not drinking enough water and flushing out um, the extra stuff that our body doesn't need. Um, and that your allergens may change over time. What used to, you know, what used to, you used to be okay eating, sometimes at different times of the year, it affects you in different ways. So um, we're being asked to avoid anything that may upset our tummies, our skin, our throats, um, you know, just the way we feel. And I believe, I want to say that includes like fast food and junk and too much cheese or, um, you know, too much caffeine things of that nature. Please note I am not a medical or health professional. I'm just reading with these cards and giving my opinion, my humble opinion, um, from what spirit is giving me. Um, then we have sunlight. Dear Archangel Raphael, please help me enjoy the benefits of sunshine in safe and healthy ways. So I definitely feel like we're being encouraged to, even though we may be feeling under the weather, um, to get outside, get some of that vitamin D from the sun. Um, the sun definitely being in sunlight and helps to lift your spirits and to elevate your mood. And when we're sick and we're not feeling good, um, your mood can kind of be crappy too. So I definitely feel like we're being asked to go outside to allow the sun to dance on our face, to dance on our skin a little bit, to soak up that vitamin D and that positive loving energy from the sun, the healing light of the sun. Next, we have Unconditional Joy. Dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for helping me appreciate everything that makes me happy right now. So I think this is a message, too, for us to slow down. And I love how um, we had the Eight of Wands reversed so that things are, you know, may not be moving so fast. Things may be slowing down a little bit. And when things do slow down, it helps us to see... Um, what we have around us when we're not constantly go getting and chasing after the next big thing to appreciate and have joy and spend time when we have when we're sick and we can, you know we're not working or um you know we can't spend as much time with the family because you know we're ill we're focusing on us and when you focus on you it helps to allow you to be able to express your joy more it allow more it allows you to take time to recover from whatever it is that you're going through um, I also think with the unconditional joy is to um, spend some time with your fur babies if you have some, if you're feeling sick, you know, they don't care about catching your cold. So, you know, allow them to lay in your lap and, you know, pet them or whatever it is you feel that you need to do to feel that unconditional joy from those who love you and support you. And the last card we have is Home Help. Dear God and Archangel Raphael, thank you for giving me the courage to ask for and accept help from you, the angels, and others in matters regarding my family and home. So I definitely feel like this is Archangel Raphael just saying, hey, if you or someone you love, someone in your family is struggling with illness or um, with heart healing, like we'll be working on this week, to just call upon him. He is there and ready to help. To call upon your angels, they're there and ready and willing to help. To invite that green ray, that emerald ray of light to envelop you and your body and to really imagine it working in to that area, that problem area that you're having to send healing, loving light and energy to that area of your body. But I'm Arielle, and this has been Maven Unmasked with your weekly reading for November 7th through November 13th of 2016. I hope you all have a fabulous and healthier week, lovely ones. Um, and that's all from me. Take care. Love you. Bye.